So we talked about the Patriot Front before and them being obviously controlled opposition before on this channel. I unfortunately removed that video because I got a warning for telling the truth about the CIA in another video which spooked me so I deleted it. I wish I hadn't now. But these idiots who dress exactly like the FBI look like the FBI and are regarded on the whole as laughably controlled opposition because, well, they are. Now, before you start rage commenting, look, I know the FBI recruits mentally challenged people to do their bidding for them. Look at the Governor Whitmer case as evidence, and the Patriot Front is clearly one of these cases. I'm not saying they are all FBI agents, but come on. The Patriot Front was started three weeks after the Unite the Right rally in 2017 in Charlottesville that spooked the elite so much. But I suppose life is just a series of coincidences. Rally occurs that frightens the powers that be. Suddenly, group with super abhorrent views appears. Just a coincidence. Now, another coincidence happened this week. The March for Life happened in Washington DC and it was absolutely huge. Like insanely big. Probably bigger than the powers that be expected. Because personally I don't have a particular opinion on the abortion issue but clearly a lot of people do. This was bigger than any of the pro. I'm a hoe and I need 23 abortions a day marches we have ever seen. And the judgment on the age old case Roe versus Wade about whether abortion should be legal is coming up soon. But this march was a big deal. So what do we do here? The narrative is crumbling. There's clearly a lot more support than we ever thought about being anti-abortion. Well, let's put the supposedly neo-Nazi group right at the front and give them a police escort to completely discredit the entire march. That happened. I mean, no one wanted them at the front of the march because they know what they represent. They're feds or they're Nazis. Nobody wants that. But when a woman wearing a trumbo who was also part of the march got a bit too close to the FBI employees, sorry, sorry, the Patriot Front, the police immediately assaulted her and arrested her. Can't have her interfering with their work colleagues, eh? So maybe life is a series of coincidences. Rally was absolutely massive, showing huge support for over turning Roe versus Wage. The police give preferential treatment to the Patriot Front and force it so they are the front and centre of a march. No one wanted them at. Maybe that is a weird coincidence. But you know what isn't a coincidence? The Patriot Front getting all their server information leaked and or released by the feds, who knows? By Unicorn Riot, a very pro Antifa news organisation. And we all know they're supported by the authorities. Or it's just another coincidence. No one gets prosecuted when they commit crimes in the name of Antifa on the exact same weekend as a March for Life rally. Oh, wow. Wow, the Patriot Front were the front of the March for Life rally, and now it's coming out that they're all full-blown Nazis. Confirmed. You mean we can now say the entire rally was full of hateful bigots and don't deserve an opinion? What a coincidence! And the leaks are just pathetic. Group chats of edgy boys calling each other gay constantly. Leftists, is this your buggy man? You don't have a problem. These guys are lame pussies. But the leaks did contain this one video, and if you don't believe this is a gay op after watching this, well, I don't know what to say to you. Life. Liberty, victory. Life, Life liberty, victory. Wanna check it out? Damn, That's son, that take. might be a cut. That's yeah. a good take right there. Seek fucking high. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I can say that now that it's over. Mears! I wanted to have my finger up like why would you say that after it's over though? Are we meant to believe Nazis can't go 15 seconds without needing to say Sig Heil unless they'll die or something? This is the state of gay opery in 2022. They have to shoe on tropes into everything just to really ham-fistedly make sure you get it. Guys are Nazi guys. Also notice they've been listening to us. Obviously the Patriot Front conveniently has mainstream media camera crews around them at all times whenever they do one of their gay little marches. No, that's not suspicious at all. Shut up. And one of the main things the entirety of the internet has been laughing at them for being fake about is that they don't have a single fat member on their marches in a group supposedly of normal people in the fattest nation on earth. Well, they took notice of the customer feedback guys and added a fat guy to their videos right after everyone mentioned it. And he's the most fervent Nazi of them all. It's just a coincidence though. It's all coincidence. So yeah, this is fucking fake. There are no coincidences and what we have here is a series of coincidences if this is to be believed. If you still believe this is real, good for you. You're an idiot. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks. Bye.